I'm in Haco Beach, Costa Rica, and I'm gonna give the guys a little bit of insight that you are not gonna find on YouTube. There's a place called Cocal Hotel and Casino. And at night, after about 5 p.m., it's flooded with women. We're gonna call them ladies of the night. And I'm talking allegedly, not from firsthand experience. They will charge you somewhere between $50 to $150, maybe more, depending on how good you are negotiating. They have a hotel that's right next to it that once you finish a negotiation with a girl, you could pay for a room for like an hour. That's another $50, something like that. It's definitely a part of Costa Rica that's real. And I'm just showing you where it's at, just in case you're ever in the area and that's something you're interested in. I feel it's only right to show you because that's a big part of Hako. Now we're gonna approach the Cocal. See how they just got girls chilling outside? It must be on their lunch break or something. <laughs> it's such a crazy place. It probably takes 10 or 15 minutes or so to walk from one end of downtown to the other on each side of the street. And along the way, there's got to be 30 or 40 different restaurants, maybe more. A bunch of bars. At night, a lot of girls out. Not as much during the day. And then the beach is only a two or three minute walk from here. A lot of these side streets lead to the beach. I felt safe at all times. I did hear rumors that there are occasionally muggings and petty crime. A few people told me that, but I didn't feel that at all. I felt safe at all times. Everybody was very friendly. Paco Beach is located around two hours outside of San Jose, which is the main international airport. So it's not the easiest place to get to. I rented a car and then drove the two hours and I'm going to use the car to get back. You can take a van for like 30 bucks or you can even take a cab. It's like $110, $120 if you want to take a cab from San Jose to Haco Beach each way. So there's multiple ways you can do it, but I definitely highly recommend it. It's a surf town. It's the closest surf town to San Jose Airport. So it's pretty conveniently located if you can call two hours convenient. But it's got so many bars and restaurants and great food, good nightlife. The weather's awesome. It's definitely a place that I'll be coming back to and I'd highly recommend anybody who has an opportunity to come here, comes to Haco Beach, Costa Rica. I had never really seen lightning like this, at least not out on the beach. Look at that, it lit up the whole water, lit up everything. Now maybe this is completely normal, but for me, I hadn't really seen that before. 
I found it pretty cool. I decided to walk out onto the beach and take a closer look. Now we're walking around at night. This will give you an idea of what to expect. A lot of those massage places. I just have a sneaky feeling if I walk in for one of those $30 massages, I'm going to walk out having spent 250 bucks or something. <laughs> so I avoided them like the plague. This was a Wednesday night, I believe. So it was a little quieter than a weekend, and it had been raining all day. This is kind of a cool little area, this Hako Walk. Dead live music, a bunch of restaurants in here. Some bars, sporting events. Hako at night is great, but on weeknights, it does get a little quiet early. I would say sometime between 10 and 11, a lot of the places start shutting down. On weekends, it can go a little later, but that was my experience at least. See, it's just one restaurant after another. Really fun place. I'm walking down the main downtown area right now. It's a strip of bars and restaurants, shops, that type of stuff. I've been hanging out here for two days now, out in this little area, because it's perfect. It really is. So many places to choose from to eat at. It's, a, it's conveniently located to where I'm staying, so it was only a 30 second walk. And it had everything I wanted. I'm heading out in a little bit to San Jose. That's my, I flew into San Jose from Panama and I'm flying out of San Jose to Nicaragua. So I have to circle back there with my rental car. It's like two hours away, so gotta have the car back by 1.30 leave here at 11 or so gives me a little bit more time just to wander around the beach is down that way sweet city I'm definitely going to come back to Costa Rica and spend more time in different parts of it because obviously I'm only seeing a small fraction with San Jose and Hako. But Hako is the kind of place I'd want to buy a condo in all seriousness. But I don't know, it might grow old on you. It seems like the kind of place I might make a lot of bad decisions long term at. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just has that feeling just because the women are everywhere not so much during the day but the freaks come out at night no doubt about it after Nicaragua I'm not really sure what my next move is I think I'm gonna go to El Salvador and then the whole plan was to hit every country in Central America on this trip but it's looking harder and harder to get Honduras in just because I only have I don't know. I leave on the 20th from Belize. Today's the 11th. I got to get five more countries in. I got to get El Salvador. I got to get Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, and Belize. So, uh, man, I'm running out of days. Fly back on the 20th, so that only gives me 
I don't know. Logistically, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. So I may hit every country in Central America except Honduras, just because Honduras is the wild card for me on. It's not hard to get to from a distance standpoint, but I don't know. It's not that conveniently, it's not convenient for me to fly on miles or put it that way. And everyone else is. <laughs> All right, this is it. Hope it gives you an idea of what to expect in Hako. If you want to go to Costa Rica, you absolutely need to do Hako Beach. If you're flying into San Jose, you got it. It's silly not to. <laughs> That's what I got. Subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I'm on a serious journey here. Working my way to 100 countries. I'm on a grind, so subscribe to my channel. Come along with me. I could use the support. We'll be in this together. Travel in Tyler style. Paco Beach, Costa Rica. Nicaragua next. I'm out.